Hey guys, it's me Mike, and it's been a month now since the new gadgets such as the impact grenades and the claymores came in with the recently released patch 4.2. What I've noticed though is that a lot of people don't seem to understand how to properly use claymores. It's either they put it on a wrong spot or a place where it's totally obvious. In this video, I'm going to give you some tips and tricks on proper placements and good spots to help protect you and your team. So let's get started. Hard the left, thermite. Four last stop standing. No, it's go inside. He's in the front. He can't get to you. Must get the help. Oh my god, that's bullshit. No. Op four eliminated. Nice. Friendly mission successful. First of all, I would like to show you what makes a bad placement. So just the other day, we were attacking Archive's room in Consulate. We entered from Garage, and I had a teammate who put a Claymore somewhere here. So what's wrong with this placement? Number one, it's too obvious. If we try to look from the defender's perspective, you can easily see the red laser and the Claymore itself, making it really easy to shoot at. Number two, since we were attacking archives, naturally, we will all be going in this direction. And as an enemy defender, if you knew about this, the perfect counter would be to go up the stairs and go around to the back. This is where the claymores come in and serve its purpose. That is to protect areas and flanks that you are not watching. So how would you make it to be a good placement? Now there is no perfect way to put the claymore. But a good placement means that it is somewhere that the enemy cannot immediately see. In this example, I put the claymore just behind the pillar at the bottom of the first set of stairs. To make it even harder to see the red laser, you can open the barricaded door to take advantage of the shining bright light of our lord the Chanka. Now to show you some basic ideas on looking for a good spot for claymores, I will use house and plane as an example. First is the very basic spot, which is to put it behind any barricaded door or window. The laser on the claymore will not pass through the barricade, so the enemy defender will never know. If you look at the other side of the door, it's really hard to tell. So if the enemy vaults through it, he's dead. Another good place to put the claymore is at the bottom of the stairs. This is a bit hard to master, but the closer you can get the claymore to the first step of the staircase, the harder it is to see for the person coming down. Another good spot is any doorway going to brightly lit rooms. It's really hard to see the laser behind the white light. If there are barricaded windows or doorways nearby, breaking it open helps a lot to bring more light inside the room. It may not be practical, but destroying objects that obstruct the light can also help. Now, you might be wondering why I always put the claymores at the side of the doorway and not directly in front. The reason for this is, the claymore is such a big target that it is so easy to spot in one quick glance. With that, there are also three bright red lasers. When you put it on the side, you can use the wall to block two of the three lasers, so that only one can be seen. Not only does this make it harder to see, but also harder to shoot. If the enemy isn't careful, he might even accidentally step on the laser while trying to shoot it down. Another good spot is to put the claymore at the bottom of the ladder. The ladder in plane is probably the best example for this because defenders rarely look straight down the ladder. Oftentimes, they look at the right side when jumping down. This also applies on top of the ladder since people are rarely careful when coming up. When they realize that there is a claymore, 
they would have already been stuck in the climb up animation. Now the last spot that I can think of is to put the claymore behind a hole on a wall. To be honest, I can't think of a reason to use this over just putting it on the side of a doorway, since it makes too much noise to set up. But if you do find a pre-made hole on a wall, probably opened by a grenade, you might be able to surprise the enemy with it. Anyway, that's all for now. Thank you guys for watching. I hope you learned a thing or two. If you enjoyed the video, don't forget to leave a like. And if you want more of my content, don't forget to subscribe. must recover the diffuser. The diffuser has been recovered. There's one beside stairs. There are two assholes in the staircase. On your left, sir, my Cover me! Reloading! Yeah, over there. Did you have a great... Nothing, frag. Bond diffusion initiated. Next yeah, over there, sir, my What did I told you, Thermite? Op 4 last up. Op 4 neutralized. Mission successful. <laughs> Ten seconds to go. Op four, last operator standing. <laughs>